Hello, everyone. Welcome to another instance of Sony. Why do you ignore your old IPs? What are you talking about? They don't <laughs> ignore this. They put it on the PlayStation Store just a couple of months ago. Shut up. <laughs> just shut up. It's like... Yeah. And, 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 besides, and, and besides, you can always play the PSP version. God damn it. No. <laughs> I actually have that version. Yeah, I, I used it, to play it, it, it came bundled. It got bundled with my PlayStation pl Portable. Okay. Yeah, welcome. Uh, to, you see that? <laughs> welcome to Game Series. That basically, I really do wish wish that Sony would give the reins to Insomniac. Not gonna lie, because I really want to see a an Insomniac made Ape Escape. Like, I really do. That could be really interesting. It, that could be really was interesting. Who the one that originally made this? Um, Studio Japan. Oh, they're, they're, uh, they're a Japan studio. No, Studio Japan. Yeah. Is it... Is it different from... Like, I, I've, I've seen PlayStation Japan yeah. or Japan Studios. I, I've seen it in some uh, PS4 VR titles. Um... I think um, I won't say everybody golf VR and um, what was the second one? Um, the people uh, who Astros made Bloodborne. Playroom, edgy. I hmm? the people who made Bloodborne. That's from software. No, uh, no, they uh, they helped from with 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 Bloodborne. Right. Oh god, I don't like I don't like how this game has like a problem that a lot of uh, PS1 games have. Where are my subtitles? Well, I mean the story is kind of basic. It's... Still, where are, okay. where are my subtitles? So... Sure. <laughs> they published Bloodborne. Okay, Edgy. so looking up. Yeah. So looking up um, Japan Studio. But this is the team that's also behind Loco Roco, Pat Upon, Gravity Rush, and the Knack series. Wait, the, you mean the Knack series, right? Yes, Sergi. Yeah, We're not yeah, getting yes, into yes. this. Again. They also did. Um, they also did Shadow of Shadow of the Colossus. Ico. Wait, everybody's no, Shadow yep, the, yep. Hang on, hang on. Shadow of the Colossus was made by Team Eco. Yeah. The the developers of Eco. Yeah. They also worked on um, Parappa the Rapper. Yeah, these are yeah these they co-developed Eco with Team Eco. Yep. It works. It actually works. All right. We did it, Natalie. So, yeah. I'm assuming you're recording this on the PS5, right? I am. Okay. Yeah, because I'm noticing a lot of um, a lot of jittering going on. Um, yeah, there now, is. Grant, granted, that was a that was a notorious problem on the. Or I mean, I would say problem, but for a lot of people, it kind of has its charm. It, it's just I don't know if it if it's played up for the. For the Crime sake of making the cutscenes pop, or if, if it's being transported back like in time, you'll soon arrive. Okay, 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 problem. okay. Let me just say this I wouldn't be playing this if this was a PS2 game and on PS5. Because boy, the PS2 games, at least the ones that are on PS4, Sony, as of this recording, Sony has not put any non uh, PS2 games that weren't on the PS4 onto the PS5 premium system. They have not. I'm kind of hoping with um like Jim Ryan stepping down that like, hopefully we'll ha get someone CEO who knows. Yeah, actually even does that. Yeah, one player older game. Our fate is in your hands. Yeah. We're depending I kind of hope, like, with, the, you know, him stepping down, yeah, like, that someone will actually understand the gamers a little bit more. Do you know what yeah. I mean by yeah. that? Yeah, like... Uh, that was like, you showing the off that, the, uh, uh, the... Okay, <laughs> sometimes you'll see that screen appear. I'm way more used to, like, the PS4 
Um, pause being the mm -hmm. touchpad. Uh, well, no, no, no. On PS5, the touchpad is pause. Okay. So that trips me up so much. Okay. Wait, yeah, that trips I've, me up I've so much. So you will be seeing that it, screen it, a lot. If I'm not mistaken, it depends on where you touch on the touchpad, but like right side is uh, start and left side, left side is, is start. Yeah. I, which yeah. is one thing that on one hand I I kind of think validates the touchpad. On the other hand, it really makes me hate how Sony misincorporated the touchpad. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's like it is really up to the up to the game, like how they incorporate it. Yes, this is the first so, like, time I played this game on PS5, so I do I get all the trophies in this playthrough, by the way, including the platinum. That's, that's good. That's good. <laughs> nice. Neat. <laughs> so you see me get the platinum on a playthrough. <laughs> Nice. I like. I like no, that. Honestly, I, I keep. I keep nice forgetting they touch. they did that, but they added uh, trophies to the PS1 games. It's a really neat idea. It's a really neat idea, and yeah. at least for this, the trophies aren't really all that hard. They're they're not all that hard. Mm -hmm. They don't make you do the time trials for um for trophies. They do not. They don't. Which That's I good. think is good. Not like, uh, yeah, not like. Um, anyway, to explain Bandicoot. the concept of Ape Escape. <laughs> You're catching monkeys that have traveled through time. Yes. Why? Because Those the monkeys have like, these evil helmets? <laughs> because um, their leader, Spectre, got yeah. his hands on one. Well, pause, mm -hmm. I should say. The big coins aren't to unlock the three minigames. I do show off the three minigames. Because I do get enough to unlock all three of them. Nice. Okay, I'm 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 sorry, yes. but I'm asking this just so, just to be sure that we don't get like the wrong kind of attention. Did you say big coins or bitcoins? Big coins. <laughs> okay. And you can see looking at the screen, you can basically see how many are to unlock each mini game. Ten for the first, twenty for the second, and forty for the third. I think forty is the max number. I'm not sure. I, I also like how they. I only I only show off the save thing just once. Otherwise, I save off screen. Yeah. Doesn't the uh, doesn't playing PS One games on PS Five give you save states? It does. It does. Okay. But I don't really. I don't like using them on, unless if I have to, to. Unless if I really have to. Anyway, this is the mini game room. It depends on it depends on the game okay. with me. Yeah. Like, uh, if I, like, the one problem I have with playing Persona 3, uh, Persona 3 Fest, and the main reason why I haven't, uh, continued it is because I'm playing the game on the PS3. Yeah. Where there are no save states. And Persona 3 is a game where it's really easy to, out of nowhere, encounter, like, Get a, boss, get a, group of, a group of four BS enemies who all have like <laughs> their insta kill attacks, and and, 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 and then yeah yeah. Anyway, real quick, you notice that in the beginning screen there were four monkeys in the first zone. You cannot mm -hmm. get all the monkeys in one run. There sometimes you will need to return. There are, um, the I do want to get all the monkeys. With an Basically, I'm and I'm going to repeat this a lot during this playthrough. There are two endings to Ape Escape. And you and have. Do they depend on the really? amount of MacGuffins you've collected over the game? Um, no. <laughs> Getting the first ending really? is playing through all the stages normally. N normally. And basically dealing with Spectre at the at the end. The second ending is gotten gotten through gameplay because after beating Spectre the first time, he will escape. So you have to collect more monkeys in order to reach the second battle. So the right. game actively makes you catch every single monkey, which I think is very good. That's actually a nice I, I, clever it, it, idea. It, it, 
so it, it, it's basically locked behind 100% completion. Yeah. yeah. But, in, but in the case of this, it's not a bad situation because you just need the monkeys. You do not need the coins. Yeah, and, and I, the coins I don't are just think they say particularly the long game, so it's... Yeah. Uh, what was that, D-pad? The coins are just there if you want to unlock the minigames. Yeah, for minigames. Like, there's no real yeah. completion for that. Like, if they're they're just there, so... Yeah. Honestly, yeah, the monkeys because... is the way to go. And... Yep. I love that trophy. Get wet. Also, can I just say, um, I love the AI assistant. I think she has the best character yeah. model. I love her. She's adorable. I was gonna say, I'm gonna say this. You, you, she, I, she's like, a bunch I, of polygons. Shut up. Get over it. You okay? At least I'm saying she. I want her to sit on me. <laughs> no, but you're thinking it. No, no. <laughs> anyway, continue, D-pad. Thank you. I was going to oh, say. Oh, you, you don't get to walk away I from remember... this so easily. <laughs> D-pad. Can I say my thank you? <laughs> I rem who remembers PlayStation Underground like the magazine? I do. I was born um, in 99. I remember playing. <laughs> I remember playing the demo for this game from like, I own the, the magazine. The um the standalone demo demo disc for this. And then I remember renting this from a local video game store when we got our PlayStation. Yeah, um, that was my only method of, pl of playing this game too. I rented it. Yeah. And then well, I thought, I mean, yeah, it back, in, back in the day, that was more, and then, that was more common, right? Yeah. Like, you rented the game yeah. to make sure to see if you like it, and if you do, you might Actually, buy it. I'm, I'm, I want to interrupt your story real quick for a minute, you pad to give one of my own. Um, I never finished the game until I played the PSP version because the game over screen yeah, kind of scared me. Same here. Yeah, the game over. Basically, yeah, it's, it's, basically, it's, it's, if you get game over, you get you um either get words of encouragement by Natalie or the professor, or taunted by a uh, specter or the other villain who will get into around in start the, at the start of the second area. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, now you can continue. But uh, so I have a question. Ed G. <laughs> what? Continue, team. Go continue to your story, D-Pad. I remember, like, I remember playing, like, the Ape Escape series. I never actually played Ape Escape 3. Only 3 is this honestly one, my favorite. And, yeah, I remember, because you, you played it for your Discord server. Yep. Which was fun. Yeah. 3 is But, like, I never played game. Ape Escape 3. Yeah, I remember, um, searching for a copy when I had my PlayStation 2, but... I don't have that system anymore because of my scumbag brother. I said it. Really? I don't care. <laughs> really wish. Edgy knows. Sorry, you you knows. How I yeah. <laughs> really wish. Really wish we would get get Ape Escape Three on the damn um um on the damn premium thing. I really do. How many it, Ape Escape games are there? Um, uh, re remakes excluded. Mainline, or do you also want to count spinoffs? Fuck it. Because there's a lot Make of spin-off spin games. <laughs> uh, which one, Edgy? It, it, just, just lay it on me. Um, well, I need to actually count the spin-offs. Then, um... Here, I'll do that. You count the main series. Uh, okay, there are three main series. There are three main series... Series games... Um, and there are, and a majority of the, of the, um, spinoffs did not occur until the, until the PSP. Yeah. Right. So, what's the story with them? Because I've, I've heard of Ape Escape before, but I, it's the kind of thing where I'm not that, um, like, in, invested in the series. Primarily because I just haven't sat down to play, uh, the first one, but... The spin-offs. Why do I have the feeling that most of them are like PSP games or yes, they are. They are. They're. There's no. Um, okay. No. 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 He. He. Um, he more, edgy more means little. We don't give a shit about these games. He had. Okay. That's what edgy means. I know. I was just gonna say like there's only there's two 
spin-off games for PlayStation 2 based on Apescape, and then the rest are for PSP. Yeah. And then, like, there's, like, spin-offs, and then there's the party games. Which are the only time we allowed, they allowed the AI girl to be playable. Yep. Even though we only... Only though we only see her just in this game, out of the mainline games. Mm -hmm. And then, surprisingly, and not surprisingly, and not, there's also like a manga series. I'm, a series I'm not honestly. I'm not surprised at that. I'm not surprised at that. Yeah. Uh, anime. I forgot about the anime. I forgot about that too. I'm sure as four kids never got their hands on that. I four think kid at one point four kids did have it. Like they did have plans, but. Four kids would have been a real done a really good job with the um, yeah. with the anime. Yeah. I forgot that basically um I also forgot that um Federator Studios did a series of shorts for Nicktoons. Yep, yep. I forgot about that. Um apparently there soup apparently there's a monkey that's unlockable in um Super Bomberman R. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, but is, is, yeah. isn't he? And there's also, okay. Isn't he just related to um the PS2 ver the PlayStation version? PlayStation 4 version. Yeah. Um, yeah, people just monkey like named people monkey bomber appears as a playable character. Yeah, and then there's also like uh the monkey appeared in Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal as a costume for Ratchet for the right, first Japanese yeah. version. Yeah. And yeah. again in uh, the Japanese version of Ratchet Deadlock. Also in Metal Gear Solid 3. Sneak yeah, I was, I was about to say, I, I know that one of the bonus features of yeah. I, the like special edition of Metal Gear Solid uh, 3 on on PS2, obviously, um, had mm. a had the Snake vs. Monkey uh, thing. And yeah. in Ape Escape Snake 3 is also has the Metal monkeys. Gear Solid, which is a which is a spoof of Metal Gear, involving Keith Hader as yep. uh, Keith Hader as Snake. And when I play huh. play Ape nice. Escape Three, I do in fact play that play that as well. Nice. nice. Okay, but I, I, I'm I'm actually I'm actually curious if if they were like actually in bed with uh, Konami, wouldn't that be like one of the reasons why they? Didn't put Ape Escape three on the on the PS four and PS five. I don't think. I honestly, I don't think they would have had to talk to. Uh, I, I considering the fact that Konami is that it's. Uh, I'm fumbling my words. I'm sorry. I don't think that that would have had an issue. I don't think that would have had an issue. That would have been an issue. Because. Right. Because honestly, even if just we, I mean, we did have the um, we did have the um, well, actually, okay. and I'm fumbling words. I'm sorry. Because I, I think, I think that basically, if if Konami had said no, Sony would still have done it, but they would have cut Metal Gear Solid out of the game. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but that means putting in mm -hmm. effort. True. And, and, you, and you know that people are going to complain. True. Like, the, be it, the best scenario for everyone if, is if Sony just made a competent emulator and they don't... Or, I mean, I say emulator, maybe it's translation layer. Whatever. In engine, in let's, engine let's, let's, emulator. In engine emulator. Yeah, we'll just call it an emulator, just so it's easier. Like, if Sony were to just make a competent uh, emulator and just put, like, a, a bunch of, like, highly requested ROMs on there, you know, put, do, like, a little bit of upscaling, but give people the option to turn it off if they want to play in native resolution. If it was like that, I think that everybody... It would be a win-win situation. Sony would only have to develop the, the emulator... And companies only have to give the go-ahead of like, yeah, sure, you can put our games on the platform. But of course, it's not that simple because not every like PS2 game is coded the same. Um, like, there's a reason why only a select number of titles has been released on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Yeah. And, and that's because it, it's just... 
I mean, it, it's mm-hmm. a, it's the same reason why I could play stuff like uh, Sonic Mega Collection on PS2 emulator, but if I mess around too much with the settings for Metal Gear Solid 2, that's a part where I enter like 30 FPS, half F- half speed kind of yeah. territory. Yeah, that is where it, when you get to that stuff, it really is. Yeah, like that. That's the one thing I I just find hilarious that it's like PCSX two, an emulator that's been in development for like for as long as I remember. Like, what is it? Ten years, fifteen years, and we still haven't got around to it. On a Sony console, yeah. No, even on PC, like the emulator, it, it it's still. It's still up in the air whether it does or doesn't work. I have, I've, yeah. I've, from what I've played for, played on it, it does have, I've, I haven't really had a whole lot of issues. I've had a few issues. I'm also not going to say which games, mostly, because it, we're going to convert something a little bit gray. But still. Yeah, also, you know what I just realized? What? The episode is over. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just realized that now. 